everybody welcome to another episode of car addiction he's trying to come in the video but if this is your first time in my channel i'm a huge nissan enthusiast i have one two three three hundred x20 turbo i don't know why i have that many i have an r32 skyline i have a, a painting the arts which is a nissan xterra i don't know why i still have this uh, i have an mr2 somebody buy that off me and i happen to have a porsche 944 like so today, in my longest of financial mistakes, I did another one. Uh, I came across a deal for a twin turbo. It was a US model left and drive twin turbo with a five speed. Price was right, I ended up buying it. So let's go pick up the car and uh, we'll be back home. I'm, I'm not sure how much footage I can take from there. So I'll try my best to take all the footage I can. And then we'll do that. Yes, she is on the flatbed. Huh. Interesting. It's a 1993 300ZX twin turbo, factory twin turbo, factory five speed. Let's see what we're gonna do with it. There's a lot of parts in this car, hell lot of parts. The car is worth more in parts than the car itself. I picked up a 93 twin turbo 5 speed and it has so much mods that we're gonna run through it in a bit and here's why I picked up a 93 for people who doesn't know 1993 onwards the VG30 DET came with forged internals so all the VG30 DETs have forged bottom end but not the rod and pistons 93 onwards came with forged rods and pistons this car runs and drives uh, engine is pretty healthy it has an oil leak which was pretty prominent these days uh, these 93 motors are very very lucrative this is the motor right off the back um, you can do some breather mods uh, boost controller and a bunch of other things and hit the 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 five to six hundred horsepower goal a, a stock pre-93 motor can hit 500 wheel horsepower pretty easily but these motors they are a little bit more healthy a little bit more reliable when it comes to that horsepower range that's why when I saw a 93 twin turbo for sale, I went. And believe me, I paid. I paid. And this is COVID times and, you know, financially it's not a good idea, but too good of a deal for me to pass. I just did that. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see how happy he is. He absolutely loves getting inside the car and just he would literally sit there for hours when I work on my car or do one of these videos. So I'm happy that I'm injecting the disease in him. Oh yeah, look at him. Baba! Just look at him, he looks so cute. So excited to be inside. Now, now let me show you why did I buy this car and why it's going to be a parts car. If you notice these two corners, the car was in a front smash, specifically a passenger side front smash you can see these two uh, frame rails they're not lined up this is bent on an angle having said that the rest of the car is perfectly fine um, I can always take it to a frame shop and you know get this pulled and uh, get it fixed but the problem is the insurance company deemed it a rebuilt title so a car's been an on an accident b it's a rebuilt title car now when this car is all done and whatnot if it's a regular car um it's a twenty five thousand dollar car but right now the car is on a rebuilt title you can take a ten thousand dollar off if not more 
and then all that work it needs to be done to, to uh, put it back on the road. You can easily add another seven to eight thousand dollars. So that's eighteen thousand dollars. I'm left with seven thousand dollars. Okay, I paid four thousand dollars for this car, so I'm left with three thousand dollars. Is it worth fixing this car? So the easy answer to you is it's not worth it because this car will never have the the presence of the value as a non-rebuilt title car. Now, uh, let me show you why I purchased this. First, I'm gonna start with the motor. As I said, in 1993 motor, they are a lot more desirable than any other motor on the market because from the factory, they come forged. And if, if you are a 300ZX guy, right off the back, you will know there are a bunch of parts in it. Let's say this aftermarket radiator, uh, front front intercooler, this, oh, that's a very, very interesting filter. I have never seen a filter like this. I will check out the brand for this. And then these hard pipes, the crank, and all these belts, the pipes, they are all aftermarket and they are worth more than the factory stuff. This car has a replaced uh, timing belt replacer, 95,246. Let me see the autometer right now. I actually didn't even see it. So the timing belt done at 95,000 kilometers, again, Canadian vehicle, they're all in kilometers, which is about um, 55,000 or 56,000 miles. And then the odometer in the car is 130, 129,000 kilometers, which is uh, somewhere about 70, 75,000 miles. So timing belt is good. That's what I'm going to tell you. What it does need is a power steering line because Without the line, this car is a manual car. <laughs> it is terrible to drive. I, I drove it to the tow truck and you know, I was getting a workout done. That's that. Um, the motor itself, it's a 93 motor. Uh, 93 motors are worth a lot more money than a uh, pre-90 motor. Let's say right now a pre-90 motor is about 3,500 Canadian. A 93 motor is close to 5,000. If you can find it, that's a, another question. It's very hard to find a 93 motor. On the other hand, this is a five speed, so a twin turbo five speed. I sell a lot of uh, transmission and NA transmission, I will sell them about $750. But when it comes to a twin turbo transmission, they are a lot more money. They are somewhere between 12 to uh, $1,500. So I will always ask for 1500, let them beat me down uh, to uh, somewhere between 12 and 15. All right, next, let's see what else. Uh, we're just gonna do the outside first. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. If you look at the windshield and the side glasses, they have a little brown hue to it, okay? This is a very rare option. Um, my car has a little uh, mirror finish in it. This has a brown hue, so both of them are very rare option. Now, I just noticed something which is very rare too. All the Z guys, you will appreciate it. This piece, the windshield, uh, this vent, it's still in its place. Usually they, uh, they separate because of heat parking on the driveway. In my car, they did separate. Unfortunately, I can't use it because this is a beige interior. Mine is a black. So these wheels, uh, they are RSGT wheels. They are, uh, it's a knockoff brand. Uh, it's a knockoff BBS, let's face it. But they do clear the rear brakes, the front brakes. So whoever wants to do a brake bait kit, these wheels will clear. So especially for the S chassis guys, these wheels are very lucrative. So, and also the tire, it's a Continental Extreme Contact tires, a, a good set of tires. Uh, I'm guessing they are about a $500 set wheel. Um, if you ride around there, if you notice, the car is very lowered front and back together. So I checked, I went under the car. These are KYB adjustable shocks. So in the front, they have adjustment right over here. And in the back, it's, it's behind. It's, you have to literally go behind the car from there and manually adjust it. And they have TN lowering springs on them. So again, just because they are KYB, they're not a TN full set. So um, uh, I'm guessing they're somewhere around 350 to 550, somewhere around there, whichever money I can make. Next is this piece. In a twin turbo car, this piece, which is factory, is made out of a foam. This one is plastic, which is a good thing because what happens with the foam is, over the years, water gets in it 
and it rots from inside. In my car, I have a thick, heavy silicone all over so the water doesn't get into it. But this is a $200 wing all day long. Maybe I will get a little bit more. Right here is the money shot. You see this? This is the highly lucrative third brake light and it doesn't have any cracks in it. It is factory fresh. It's a $600 unit all day long. And these lights, they're also in very good condition. I will probably take this centerpiece and swap it with my car because I have a couple of scratches in mine. Uh, it does have a nick over here, which I don't. Uh, well, still, these are these three pieces, $150. We go below. Car came with a really nice set of uh, stainless steel uh, exhaust. Now, it doesn't have an aftermarket downpipe, but it's downpipe all the way. So, again, they are, uh, the stainless steel unit, it sounds really good. Uh, it's, as a matter of fact, it sounds better than mine. So, it's about a $500 item. We haven't even been inside the car yet, okay? Let's go inside. As I was telling you, there is a little brownish tint all for all of the windows, including the windshield and the trunk. I'm going to find out how much this tint is worth uh, or how much this system is worth because I've never seen them before and I'm assuming they're going to be some money. So anything will be kitchen, 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 but I'm hoping they're going to be close to a thousand dollars, if not more. Inside is actually not that good. First of all, it is a beige interior. And uh, in my opinion, the beige interior is one of the lesser lucrative interior. Uh, it does have the beige Alcantara, which is good, but the interior itself is kind of shabby. Uh, the seats are toast, both of them. The armrest is toast. It's a Momo fake steering wheel, okay? So this wheel is worthless. This center is money. Here's why. You see the cruise control? This is very interesting. I don't have that cruise control. I have the cruise control in the steering. So that money. The center bezel is missing the clock. In instead of the clock, there is a turbo timer, HKS turbo timer. I'm gonna find that unit. This is, it's, it's a hit and miss. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't know, to me it's a $50 item, but some people charge a lot of money. Uh, the steering is useless. These, pa these pods, they are, uh, this is 2050. The, the instrument cluster is money. I stand corrected. This is a US vehicle. It's 123,000 miles. I stand corrected. Please go back and all the calculations I did, they're wrong. It's a US vehicle. Uh, I just noticed now. Uh, the seats work, which is good. Uh, they're good for rebuilding. But here is the interesting part. It has a nice five-point harness both sides driver and passenger a company called nrg that my friend is not cheap so i'm going to find out how much they are but if i have to take a wild guess it's a five point harness both sides i'm looking at 400 bucks now this t-top comes with the t-top shades both sides and they are both reasonably good condition the shades themselves are 150 dollars easy now let's see the condition of the t-top see you see the brown tint? Man, this is gonna be worth something. Condition of the T-top is good, uh, just because of the brown tint. Um, without the brown tint, I will ask for uh, $200, but just because of this, um, I'll ask $100 more, at least, or I'm gonna find out. Now this little piece, for some reason, I don't know how people break it. $50 each, there's two of them. As you can see the brown hue, this thing is uh, 600 bucks all day long. Uh, Fusco, I don't know what this is. Um, this fan, electric fan conversion for the radiator. Um, it's, not certain, it's not a good idea to have this on, but sometimes for some certain application, maybe because the factory fan moves 5,000 CFM. I don't know how much this one does, but certainly not 5,000. So anyway. Uh, to me, this is a $150 unit all day long. And some lube, haha. <laughs> no, it's a leather restore. We always need them. Oh, new oil filter, $6. So the hatch carpet, beige, hard to come by. Uh, I don't know, it's less than 100 bucks. And the cardboard for the hatch, again, hard to come by. So with the carpets, there's two carpets, uh, somewhere around $100, because the condition of the carpet is not the greatest. Now I'm holding off 
uh, some of the best thing for the last. So remember I showed you the harness, both sides, pass, uh, driver and passenger. This harness is connected to a bar. I gotta find out how is this bar connected. I hope it's bolted in. Uh, this is, I'm gonna have to find out again uh, where this comes from. Somewhere between 150 to 200 dollars all along. Now, and then in the back, there's the still and strut bar. Very lucrative, $150 all day. The crawl I was talking about is the crawl. Some bits and pieces of plastic, which between $20 to $50 each item. This is the floor, wooden floor panel. Very hard to come by, but one of the other things, they don't really go bad that often. I don't know, 20 bucks. I picked up a spare uh, tension rods. Um, they're about a hundred dollar. Now, the driver's side you're gonna see side skirts and the passenger side it's missing. So oh, the owner basically said these are for a two plus two. So he usually cut them, and shorten them up and then join them together, which is not really what I wanna do. Uh, but anyway, they are still worth $50 each, I guess. I don't know, it rained for a second and it stopped raining. Mother <laughs> Nature is playing games with me. Uh, it's my buddy James with the free hugs Lambo. He Hold on, I should pick up this call. That was James at Free Hugs Lambo. Uh, awesome guy. Uh, he is fulfilling his dream of buying a Lamborghini for forever. And then he's gonna drive around and give free hugs to people right after this COVID thing is gone. Like once everybody is vaccinated. So he's not out there. He, he knows what he's doing. Going back to this. So um, yeah, um, I have a great network of people, uh, Z owners in Ontario, who has phenomenal vehicles. I go on rides with them all the time. And I am the designated first guy for them. So I guess this car will be that. And yeah, uh, it's gonna be a first car. I'm not gonna fix it. It's, it's just not worth it. Uh, but hear this out. This is 2021, where you spend $4,000 for a Z32 parts car. Yeah. Um, when I started parting out these cars, I would buy a twin turbo for like $1,600, $1,700 parts car and a $700, $800, but those days are far gone. Um, even the part value came up so much. If you think that Z32 parts a diamond doesn't cheat, forget it. But anyway, reach out to me. I'll give you a deal. Um, my contact is at the bottom. Just send me an email what you need. I'm shipping all over continental US. so. Uh, yeah, we can uh, do a deal. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Please hit the subscribe button and bell notification. And on the next video, I will show you stuff that I'm going to pick from this car specifically for me to go into mine. And next one.